Kobolds, and welcome to Love at First Squeak. You may be wondering if this is a horror game, but let me tell you, the developers of this are Scythe Dev Team, the makers of the Happy's Humble Burger Farm and Barn. <laughs> they also have other projects, but I think they, it's what they're probably best known for, so if you're curious, I suggest going to check out the rest of their games. Now this is a game about... A Dating a rat? No, finding a rat for a date. Finding a date for your rat. <laughs> and that's all I know. I skinned a little bit of their intro of their video, but that's all I know. I am ready. We are at. We have arrived at, at the rat hole. <laughs> I know you've all wanted to see me go in get inside the rat hole, and you know, finally we're we're travel we've traveled there. You arrive at the rat hole club. Click anywhere. Ooh, I like the music. That's really good. Anyway, this is a short. I believe this is a going to be a mini series of shorts from Scythe Dev Team. So they're going to be putting out more games. I'm not sure if they're all going to be themed around Valentine's Day or if they're going to be themed around various whatevers, but we'll see. Get in line. Wow, we actually have a lot of options. <laughs> this place is tapped. I'm going home. Do we get a game over? You drink until close alone. <laughs> you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Wait, am I allowed to show that on YouTube? That's a um, that's a glow stick, by the way. I see. Mm, mm hmm. Oh, it just restarts. That's great. That makes it easy for us. A lot of these indie horror games just completely die and they close to desktop, and it's thankfully, thank you, thank you, Site Dev Team, for not doing that. I appreciate that. Let's use the vending machine. You take a rip of bump. I take a rip. A rip of bump cola. It sounds like. It sounds like drugs. <laughs> a rip of bump cola and head for the door. Brutus. I'm gonna need. To, I'm gonna need to see some ID. <laughs> why does the Why does the menu The menu sounds sound like? <laughs> you real ID, your fake ID. Can you tell I'm old enough? Club bouncer's face. Wait. Oh, are we piloting said rat? Let's claw their face off. Get out of my way. Hey, Brutus. Game over. You got bounced by the ba I don't know what's happening, and that's a little intimidating. You've just been bounced. <laughs> I guess we're finding all of the game overs. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wanted to be violent. You know? You know how it is, right? Also, I like the faint pink background at the very at the end of this, and it kind of fades in. This is like really well done for being just like a mini series game, quote unquote. I don't actually. I was assuming that this was going to be very short and relatively linear, but it looks like it's actually not. It looks like they actually have some various game over types type endings. I'm guessing get in line and cut the line. Let's do cut the line. You aggressively shove your way to the front. Hmm, hmm, out of my way. Oh, Brutus is back. I'm gonna need to see some ID. So it looks like not all of the alternate lines of choices always end in a game over it just maybe a different way of getting there okay so <laughs> attempted murder <laughs> did not work the last time i don't think that's gonna work again can't you tell i'm old enough are you on the list okay that's probably the same line of dialogue that happens no matter what then sneak a peek at the guest list slip the bouncer a, tw a 20 credit sucker punch the bouncer <laughs> please i'm desperate for a connection i thought that read affection at first <laughs> well i mean probably considering we're i think we're a rat at the rat hole so wait is everyone else norm like not anthropomorphic are we the only anthropomorphic creature it did say claw and no one else looks like they have clobs i don't know let's see if we can sneak a peek and maybe we can just be like yeah we're um uh yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah uh j j j Dervis Snompulant. <laughs> Forgive me, Mitzi Lake. Head on in. That seems awfully specific, Mitzi Lake. That seems like a very specific name. I wonder. See, I think this might actually tie into their other games and have references to them, but I'm not really in on the Scythe Dev Team lore, per se. So if you're a fan of the series, you'll probably get more out of it than me, but I'm still enjoying it so far. You enter the dance floor. A wild Chip Quick appears. Chip Quick sounds like a, that sounds like a cyberpunk name. Howdy there, darling. You're as pretty as a peach. Would you like to burn the midnight oil with me? Chip Quick. What's on your face? Is that shaving cream or snow? Okay, snow, snow, it's, it's, snow, it's snow. Also, how are peaches pretty? Are you into fruits? Like, sexually? I don't understand here. Uh -huh. I'm allergic to fruit. 
<laughs> what the fuck is a midnight oil lubricant? Goodbye. <laughs> I'm more of an eggplant gal. Don't think you'd like me. I play with matches. Oh. Oh, I kind of like that one. <laughs> I play with matches. I mean, come on, dragons, matches? Okay, well, would you like a mint julep, my tulip? I'd love to show you the backseat of any car in my Of course he's a fucking car dealer. Of course. Oh, I should have put it together. It's not cyberpunk, he's just a car dealer. <laughs> I don't trust you with my drink, cowboy. Don't even think about it. I'll slash all those tires. I enjoy a good hole more than a back seat. Wait, wait, I'm trying to put that together in my brain. I'm not... I, I don't know what that means, and I don't know why. <laughs> How much insurance fraud you commit? <laughs> Does a cow shit in the woods? <laughs> okay, he just leaves. Chip quick fades into the crowd as a young female hipster says hello. <gasps> no no why no oh i'm not even reading i can't even read it i can't i can't shut up please no stop no i'm not i'm i can't i know i can't i'm not i ow that that hurt me that hurt me so much i'll read it because i always read the dialogue so <clears throat> My imaginary friend and I saw you from across the bar and totally dig your vibe. Almost want to like form a domestic partnership, you know? Totally save on rent together. So care for a dance? I'd love to see you shake your tail, but be warned, I put the manic in manic pixie dreams. Yeah, my voice fucking cracked. I can't, I can't go that way. I'm sorry. Thanks, but I have my own nest already. Uh, what is this imaginary friend's name? Sorry, but I'm back in therapy. <laughs> sales are taking for anyone right now. I'm starting to think we actually aren't an anthropomorphic rat, but I want to know. I don't know if we actually are. Are we just in a fursuit this whole time? That's my headcanon. We're wearing a rat fursuit. <laughs> an anthro rat fursuit. Sorry, but um, <laughs> uh, wouldn't you know what? I'm back in therapy. Uh, I heard Grody in there. I heard there's like a law. There's like an XD. There's all sorts of just things slipped in there for each of each of the little um the voice things. Oh, I have a few exes that are great therapists. Oh, that hurts me. Oh, that hurts me even more. <laughs> Beauty veils and suddenly a 420 aroma permeates the space as a male stoner appears from the mist, from the purple haze all around us. <laughs> Chet Brody. Hi, oh, what's up my honeybee? Wanna hive mine? I'd love to kick up a buzz with you. Life is a series of waves, so ride the next one with me. Wait, where are we right now? I am coming up super hot. Hard. Oh no. Honey beep, buzz off. So you're the lonely stoner that frees their mind at night. Oh no. Where are we? Look in a mirror. We're at the dump. Wow, we just straight up can diss this entire place. I'll pass on the waves. Watch out for the sharks. <laughs> I kind of want. I like this one. I like the wordplay. I'll pass on the waves. Watch out for the sharks. Well, uh, good thing I can surf. I'll get a bigger board. I don't know what that means exactly. Chet Brody goes to smoke alone as Ruth finishes her final business call. Oh no. Oh no. Cut to the cheese! I can't tell if we're a rat or not. Are we a rat? <laughs> I want to know. I'm going to cut to the chase and make you a deal with lots of benefits. Oh, oh no. This brings me back to my... No, shut up. Do you have any interest in a weekly allowance selling stocks? Let's go back to my place and talk it over over some kombucha. Oh no. Okay, I actually don't mind kombucha so much. It's got a weird flavor, but it's like, it's okay. Also, this sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Are you 16 years old? Wait, why that answer? I don't understand. I'm surprised that I'm surprised that the insult for the age isn't reversed to like to like to like like 40. Anyway, thanks, but I already have coverage. Honestly, not a pose, but not right now. I think you got this backwards, honey. Wait, wait. Oh, this is the this is the like a positive response, I think. The dating response. Actually, I haven't been paying attention. I think I can't actually can't tell in my head if we if we can say yes to any of these people. I don't remember. I've been focusing on all the negative ones, on all the rejections. I already have coverage. I assure you, mine is better. Take my card. <laughs> Ruth gets another call when Melvin trips and falls into you. 
Indiscernible anxious noises and heavy breathing. I don't know how to do a voice for this. H Hello, I, I I'm extremely nervous. Good evening, milady. Jeez, you look like the goddess Bola from Archenders 42. D do you require a nightly escort for the evening? Oh no, he's a nerd. <laughs> Are you having a stupid? Do you need an all? Oh, this is so mean. My cosplay is not your fantasy creep unless you subscribe. <gasps> Yo, do we have an OnlyFans? Is it canon? Do we have an OnlyFans? A rat themed OnlyFans? I require you not be allowed within six feet of me. <laughs> I kind of like that one though. <laughs> See, I don't know if, the, if there are any positive responses to these people. You know what? Let's do that one. Oh, you, you're on status poll? How much? I'll pay double. Okay. Wait. Was that positive? The bouncer has gifted you the VIP room key to make a connection. Wait. Oh. Pick your date. Oh no, it- okay. Oh, I see. We were just like screening all through all of them. Who are you interested in inviting in for a deeper conversation? Why was- that sounded like screaming. I'm so confused. Rodent room. I'm very scared. Chip BB, Chip Brody, more- I don't know. Just decide who are you interested in inviting for a deeper conversation. Pick your date. What happens if I just go with no? Wait, we can just leave? Oh, okay, this just wraps back around, I guess. Why? That's so weird. That's so scary. <laughs> can we just leave? I kind of want to just leave. What if we just leave? Bye. Oh, aw, it gives us the same game over screen. Okay, so to be completely honest, <laughs> I don't think I liked any of them. <laughs> but we're gonna go with BB, just cause I am very curious. That seemed, she seemed to be the most, um, not the most unhinged necessarily, but like, no, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, God, I'm regretting my decision. Like. Cha, gag me with a spoon. You invite the quirky indie film dreamboat? Oh, I see what that means. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> so not in on any lingo, any ever. <laughs> Wait, what? No. Oh God, why is this escalating? I wanna take each other's medication to become closer. Move in with me, you'd love all, of my, all 12 of my roommates. My college degree sure is expensive, but completely worthless. But I'm not, mister. Life is like a movie, even though my attention span is too short for them. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> my attention span, I have already shown to be absolutely awful. No, that's, no, that's such a bad idea. Oh God. I'd love to cycle months together. <laughs> Quick, what does that mean? No, God, a fullness sounds so familiar and cozy. I believe you. Let's run away together. Oh, God, I don't like any of these. <laughs> I want to see what happens when you pick I'd love to cycle meds together. What is okay? I don't know what quick cure means at all. I am so confused, but it sounds the most interesting. Wait. Wait. What? Where did Chip Quick come in? Wait. I'm so confused. It's decision time? Oh. Wait, why did- how did Chip Quick get into here? So that's- oh, so that was- so we can still re-choose if we want. Everyone sucks claw bouncer's face. Why are there my ripe and unopened cherry? <laughs> Everyone sucks. Wait, I can't go back though? What is going on here? I'm so confused. Everyone sucks. I feel like that's just gonna get back to the same places before. Let's just actually try Ruth. I have. I feel like that these two are gonna, the bottom two are gonna get the same exact sort of reaction as before that we've already seen, but I'm not sure. Time to sign this contract. Um. Oh, why is she bleeding? What do you mean? What do you What do you mean? What do you mean? This is escalating in a very strange way. You chose your date, now it's time to see things from their point of view. Are we into sadism? Is that where this is going? I don't understand anything that's happening anymore. What are you gonna do now, lover? You wake up in a dingy dungeon. What a weird start to a date. Wait, did 
she... What on earth is happening? Hide in the cupboard, cut the power lines, run up the stairs, escape into the... This is turning into an old flash escape room. But I understand the aesthetic now. This looks like those old flash escape rooms. This reminds me of, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's like script something. There's a developer. I might just try to throw them, find them and throw them up. I escape, it. cut the power lines. I feel like we're gonna die. We're gonna just be, get shocked to death if we could try to cut the power lines. But there's only one place to hide in this entire place. What if we just try to escape? Born to sh forced to wipe, you choose life, chosen life over death. Why is the bouncer down here? What? You escape into the sewer and see the bouncer trap too? Why is there a skull? Sublevel B7. What are you gonna do? Grab the bouncer's vascular gloved hand. Is that grease? Club bouncer's face. <laughs> wow, we can really just d destroy it. We could really just shred the bouncer. <laughs> it keeps giving us that option. Sacrifice the bouncer and fail. Dive into the sewage and hide. I feel like hiding is not going to work. We're just gonna sacrifice the bouncer. I'm sorry. What if we claw his bounce? I bet we're gonna claw it off and then bail. You escape the sewer by sacrificing the bouncer. But his ghost haunts you until you die of dysentery. What are you talking about? Why did we wind up in a, what? There's the ghost of the bouncer. <laughs> we could have survived together, but you left me for dead. Dysentery is your curse. That's a game over? Is there like a way to win this? Okay, there's so much to do. I wanna try to find at least one other ending. I don't think I'm going to dig through all of these because that's a lot, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna try to get through at least one other person. We're gonna choose a different person and if there's the same sort of options for escaping, we'll just try something different. Okay, so this time we went with <laughs> Chip Quick. Snake oil, car salesman, and gator enthusiast, and he probably lives in Florida. Wanna drink some gator wine? Wait, I may still use col cars. I almost said colors, but no, I wanna try something new. Making oh, gods. Oh, that's a lot. Jeez, Christ. <laughs> now that we're alone, wanna drink some gator wine? I may still use cars, but now I wanna try something new. Make an honest salesman out of me? Seriously, I'm very dishonest. I admit the cars are still barely run, but neither do I. I'm here for. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> God, so why? Is that even safe? Actually, who cares? You know what? I'm here for you. Let's be evil together. I, okay, sure. Let's light up the rodeo. Ow. Okay, so we can still think things over. Chet Brody, you're all flower. So it doesn't matter really who we choose until, it probably doesn't even matter who we choose by the end. I, <laughs> my ripe and, oh God, that hurts me. Oh no, wait. I got to the end here. Oh no, we already went with Ruth. Oh, I forgot you can't go back. I kinda wanna pick everyone sucks, but I feel like this is gonna do, oh God. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read that one. <laughs> no, oh God. What are you gonna do now, Ever? Okay, you wake up in a dingy dungeon, so same thing. See, let's, you know what? <sighs> Screw it, let's try to cut the power lines. Evil glaring red eyes create the darkness that envelops the room. The power is out. What are you going to do now? Stay put, but accidentally fart? Trick or treat, motherfucker? What do you mean? Attack the evil figure in the darkness. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals. I did not expect to see a reference to that inside of this game. Anyway, Google the Discovery Channel theme song. Assuming it's still up on YouTube, it's gotta be. I don't see why it would be taken down. I, screw it, let's try it. You seduce your captor and wind up moving in. Congrats on finding love. Oh, wait. They were a literal rat, or is that us or them? They're kind of adorable though. Is that us? Aw. But that means we're sad. So also, aw. That's where I'm gonna leave it for now. This has way more content than I thought it did. This has multiple kinds of endings and game over, game overs. Probably, probably still, I'd imagine maybe like four to somewhere between four and eight more, depending on how long some of those sequences can go. I'm like speechless. This game like literally just came out today from while I'm recording this. And it's such a bizarre game and it took me way longer than I thought it would, which is good. But I was expecting this to be like a five minute, five to 10 minute linear experience, but it has way more. And someone is going to do their digging in this game and find out way more about all the references and stuff that they put into this because there's some weird stuff going on. 
There's the quick cure thing. Some of the scene transitions are like, are like audio there is like screams and stuff. So there's a lot going on in this. There's some things to unpack. I think a lot of it's just honestly just for Goofy, for Goofy, go being Goofy for Goofy's sake, but I'm sure there's a lot more. Anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. Please, I go download this game, it's free, and check it out, find some endings for yourself because it's so bizarre. <laughs> thank you all for watching, really appreciate it. Happy almost Valentine's Day or happy Singles Day, whatever it is you subscribe to. Anyway, have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.